what's up YouTube this your girl Giggs and oh my god I just feel like ranting right now so if you guys can let me borrow y'all ears for a minute I'll be grateful um I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Facebook or on Twitter but I've been talking about this the whole day and it's been bothering me um I'm gonna get a little bit personal with you guys so you know you want to get to know me so hey I'm gonna get a little bit personal this morning I went and took an HIV test I've done it plenty of times before and I don't know why this is so different I guess because I always been safe always been safe always use protection but I still be wanting to know in the past I always been safe but if you guys don't remember I was engaged last year uh, October 2009 me and my fiance broke up he was cheating speaking of him we were supposed to get married well, my wedding day is supposed to be May of this year May 1st so I know when May 1st get here I'm gonna like have an emotional breakdown or whatever like like I'm getting emotional right now but anyways he cheated y'all he cheated I think I already told you guys this and it killed me you know it really made me feel real sad but um I went and took an HIV test and the last time I got tested was January of 2009. I only been with him the whole year 2008 and 2009. Um, now this year I met somebody else. We're not really, you know, boyfriend and girlfriend, but you know, we've been doing our thing, but it's been protected or whatever, or whatever. You know, we're all over the age of 21, so I feel like I could go ahead and tell you guys what I'm going through. So, um... I went inside I wasn't scared at all as soon as they started asking me these crazy questions I started getting scared y'all because you never know what your partner has been doing only he and God knows what they've been doing the questions were have you had sex with more than one partner since the last time he got tested my answer was yes because he was the last person I had sex with since October but in 2010 I had sex with somebody else but the person I had sex with was protected now me and my ex fiance we used protection like the whole 2008 and half of 2009 because you know I thought we were in a you know a strictly monogamous relationship just me and him it wasn't like that um the other question was have you ever had sex well since since the last time you got tested have you had sex with the opposite sex i was like no okay since the last time you got tested have your partner been with another man or whatever i don't know like i really don't know i thought we was in a monogamous relationship i thought it was just me and him but he was with some other chick too. Who's to say? He could have been with a man too. You never know. You know, you never know. Another question. Have you ever did anything, experienced anything with animals? No. I know I haven't. Have he has? I don't know. You know, I really don't know. Another question. Have you ever been out of this country and came back to the United States? since the last time I got tested. No, I've never been out of the country. Have he? Not that I know of. No, he hasn't been out of the country and came back to the United States. So the questions just kept coming and coming and I'm like, ugh. Like, have you used needles or drugs or have you slept with a prostitute or have you prostituted yourself? Like, all of these questions and they have your mind going crazy. Now, this is what I'm worried about. What if my SV got say cheated on me what if he cheated on me with another man? What if he cheated on me with another woman and the woman that he cheated on me with was sleeping with another woman or either the woman he cheated on me with was sleeping with another man who was sleeping with another man? You get what I'm saying? You never know what the other person is doing. So I guess the moral of this whole 
what video is y'all go get tested get tested it's better to know than not to know like i may not know still today i may not know if my ex fiance slept with a man or an animal or a prostitute or prostituted himself but i will know if i have any disease two weeks from now because i went to the health department so it takes them two weeks to you know give you your test results so for the next two weeks i'm gonna be like what if you feel me so that's the purpose of me ranting because i'm still wondering what if you know that's crazy now um i guess since i got your attention i can go ahead and touch some more subjects questions that you guys were asking me like uh why my background is still the same i haven't moved yet <laughs> I gotta say, y'all, y'all be on point. Y'all notice everything. I can't get, put nothing past my viewers. Y'all notice everything. Yes, my background is still the same. I haven't moved yet because they gave my apartment away. I know it sounds crazy, but it was some kind of mess up. I was number two on a waiting list, and it was a long waiting list. These apartments are upscale apartments. I mean, they're fully equipped kitchens, come with washing and dryer bigger rooms than what I'm living in now so it's a better apartment and it's you know worth the money and it's worth the wait so I was number two on the waiting list and two people working in the office at the apartment complex one of the ladies called me up and was like are you still interested yeah I'm still interested I even gave them my deposit money everything everything was taken care of I was supposed to move in in January or February what happened was the person that they called that was number one on the waiting list obviously called them back and said yeah they're still interested too so they gave my apartment away but but I move in April the 1st which is next month so you will soon see a different background so to the person who wanted to know that I'm still moving I'm just stuck here for a little bit I'm not even mad about that because it gave me time to pack and time to save money um, another thing someone wants to know is are the Dear Gigs letter, letters real? Yes, they are 100% real. I cannot make up or either create stories like the stories I've been getting. I wish I was that creative, but I can't. They are 100% real. Even the ones that did write me, all of the video responses I already did on the Dear Gigs, those people either come back and be like, thank you, they appreciate it. Some of the people, like recently, the depressed BBW uh, video I just did, if you go back and read the comments, the person that actually wrote me that letter, she left a comment on there. She was like, she's not ashamed to say it's her. She's the one that's depressed, but she's taking my advice or whatever. So, yeah, they're 100% real, just to answer you guys' questions. Um, another thing is my camera. I notice like when I go back on all of my videos you can't even see the color that I'm using when I'm doing my makeup I mean you can see it but you can't see it see it like the rest of these YouTube makeup girls out here they're doing their job shout out to them their colors are like popping or whatever I realize that it's my camera so I'm getting me a uh, it's called a Microsoft Life Cam Cinema. It got autofocus, y'all, zoom, everything. This is the number one camera, the hottest camera they said that came out in 2009. Right now, I got a Microsoft Life Cam VX1000, but I can't wait till I get the Life Cam Cinema because I did do some research on it and. I just can't wait so you guys can actually see the colors more better and everything. Um, I got another video that I'm going to do probably in another day or so where I'm going to reintroduce one of my old wigs that everyone is asking me a question about and I'm going to get to that video within a couple of days. So I'm not going to tell y'all what wig it is because it'll be giving away the secret but uh, yeah I'm going to reintroduce one of my old wigs. But, other than that, I guess that was all I really wanted to talk about, y'all. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and go get tested. You can go find out where the free clinics are, because it's a lot of free clinics around here. I'm so glad of that, that I didn't have to pay for anything. And just go get tested. This is your girl, Giggs. Bye.